good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Day of Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE action figure review, and it is not any ordinary review. We have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2020-22, the WWE Ultimate Edition No Holds Barred Rip and Zeus 2-Pack from Mattel. Now, I do want to give a huge shout-out to Mattel before we even get started because they are who made this review completely possible by sending us this Ultimate Edition 2-Pack for this year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Very excited for it. Nobody expected this I don't think. I, I didn't see any rumors for this. They did a great job of keeping the lid on this and it looks fantastic from all the promo shots I've seen. I love the packaging that we have going on. I didn't think anything like this was even possible in this day and age but here we are man. It's in our faces. We're going to crack it open take a look at every single detail of this two pack. Is this the dawn of a new era of Ultimate Editions with WWE Mattel? How will these stack up to the rest of our San Diego Comic Con exclusives from the past few years? Are these figures as nice as we think they are on paper? We're going to dive in and find out today, man, but as you guys can see, the figures do come in this beautiful box right here, and I'm going to take it off the stand so we can take a closer look at all the details, but before we do, I do want to give another huge shout out to Mattel for making this review possible and sending these figures and this set our way. It will go up for pre-order next week on July 22nd. So taking the box set off the rotating stand, you guys can see here the box does come completely sealed as it is right here. It's not sealed by tape though, so you can like open it up and you know open the contents and then reseal it back up. But on the front of the box here, you guys can see you get this beautiful silver Ultimate Edition WWE logo right here on the front, which looks really, really good. It reflects nicely. Nice matte black cover on here. On the side, you get a classic WWE block logo. Now, even though that wasn't the logo, you guys get the deal with the copywriting-ish, but you got a beautiful image of Zeus and Hulk Hogan right here, or Rip I should say, huh? But you got the Rip em headband, nice little photos right there going down, nice red embossing right there with the matte packaging, looks really, really good. On the back you get a nice hold, no holds barred logo right here, WWE official sticker up here. Down here at the bottom you do get the Mattel logo empowering the next generation through play. Other side it says color and decorations may vary, interesting. And then on the other side you get another WWE Ultimate Edition logo with the red embossing again. I really like the way the reflective embossment goes with the matte black over here. And then at the top you do get the iconic what's that smell in red lettering nice little funny indention right there on the top of the packaging from the movie but at the top right here you will open this open the flap up and then when you open up the flap it does say rip them right here as you slide it out i'm definitely gonna have to get one of these men on card man and keep it completely in that box but removing it from there you have another epic box so as you guys can see once you remove it from the opening box similar to sergeant slaughter right you got the little flap that you can open up and you could put this back in here if you wanted to but getting a shot of this packaging, no ring, no ref, no rules, WWE Ultimate Edition logo, a beautiful poster right here. I don't know who did this photography, but you got Hulk Hogan there, Zeus, you got an image of both figures there, no holds barred down here. Nice little like movie, classic movie poster credit stuff going down at the bottom right here. If you guys would like to read it, you can pause it now. I'm not going to go through all the different stuff, but Mattel logo down here, beautiful red border on there. Spinning it around, you got another shot of the WWE Ultimate Edition logo with both figures just staring head face to face right there, which is really nice. I love the blue gradient background. No holds barred again over here. Flipping it on the other side, you get no holds barred again spelled out across. I just love this, man. This is really, really sweet. This is some of the best packaging we've seen from Mattel in a minute, and I just, I, I love this. I definitely am going to have to get maybe a couple more of these if possible because I just love this packaging so much, and of course we're going to crack these open, but on the back of course you get more shots of the figures there. There's a picture of Rip. You got the championship, and on the back there is a little bio read if you want to read it, you can pause it now. More things down there, and then you do have the WWE logo down here, of course, but that is pretty much your packaging, or at least this stage, this stage of the packaging, and you had your big box, you got this part, and then you remove this cover piece, like so, unveiling the VHS tape underneath, so it's like a VHS box. Then you have your beautiful window into the inside, where you can see both figures squaring off. My Zeus was looking down a little bit, that's a little bit better. Nice shadowing going on there, but as you guys can see. If you zoom in here, it does have the WWE Ultimate Edition logo, WWE Action Figure Ultimate Edition 2-Pack, WWE, No Holds Barred, Collector Warning, you got all of this different bio read, WWE logo, 30 points of articulate, very detailed, man, very, very detailed. I love this. I think this is the stuff that makes collecting a whole experience. It really brings you back in time. Just epic, man, totally epic, but if you put this down, I'd say this is definitely much bigger than a regular VHS tape, but you can pull this open, and 
it will reveal the figures inside. And dude, this is just such an experience. Like, so many different levels to this packaging. You can remove this. You got the WTN logo from the movie. You got the ring ropes going around. I mean, this kind of looks like a photo booth or something. I feel like you could just put the figures in here, but that's a nice display option if you guys want to sit the figures in there face to face. I think that would look great on a shelf. But just look at all these different things you get. You even get this base here that you could use. It says additional accessories included. You open this up and you have all of your different accessories. Open the flap revealing all of the different accessories that you get with this figure. You have your Hulk accessories on top or your Rip accessories, I'm sorry. And then underneath you do have your Zeus accessories. So that's really awesome. Just a ton of detail put into this. A ton of planning and I love that the lid was kept on all of it. I didn't know anything about this until a week before they revealed it and they did a great job of, of keeping the lid on this which I really appreciate. But here are the figures inside the plastic realm. What I'm going to do is clear off everything man, stack it all up and we will take a look at these guys on the rotating base. So here is Rip and Zeus out of their packaging, spinning round and round like we like to do at the beginning of the reviews, and I'm enjoying myself so far. I love the experience of opening up the packaging. I pose these guys around. I will say I have a bit of trouble with uh, with some of it, and I'll, I'll explain that, of course, as we go through the review, but I think that Mattel has done a fantastic job so far of just presenting these figures to us, man. If you are a sneaker collector, or you come from the sneaker world, or you have bought, you know, high-end sneakers before, or exclusives, or rare special editions, or things of that nature, the whole experience is what you're paying for as well. It's not just a, a new pair of shoes with a new splash of paint. You're paying for that packaging. You're paying for that experience of opening it up and seeing the details of what the designers and the creators have put into it. And you can literally see the love that they have put into these figures, probably because it's an exclusive, right? I mean, that makes the most sense. The special editions, the exclusives, have all that stuff going on. But these are really fun figures, and we're going to dive into all their details, man. So what we're going to do is cover all of their accessories at once, breaking it down by superstar then we will cover each figure one after the other get into the comparisons and take a look at everything you get with this san diego comic-con exclusive ultimate edition two pack the first of its kind from mattel so starting out first man we're going to start off with hulk hogan or rips accessories as you guys see here so of course with ultimate editions you always get a plethora of accessories and there's no doubt with the rip figure that you do get some you do definitely get some with this two pack here for the 70 dollar price point starting out first we do have our white strap wwf championship very nice here. We have seen this before in the line. It does have the shine there. It looks really good, man. Really, really clean. I think the light Carolina blue, you know, North Carolina blue there with the attire, with the white accents, with the white strap is very sweet. I, I love this. I'll never complain about a championship, man. It does right itself. It's beautiful. It looks good. Mattel does really good on their championship belt, so this is nice. I think our most important accessories following the championship has got to be the head sculpts. Now, these are repeat head sculpts from the Ultimate Edition that we just saw. You guys can see here it is the removable headband here, and it can go on all three head sculpts. It does say rip them on there, which is really nice. It's the same graphic or logo from the t-shirt that he's wearing. Really nice Hulk, you know, Hulk Hogan head sculpt. I think it looks just like him. I think that, you know, when we reviewed that Ultimate Edition the first time, I thought that the figure looked fantastic then. I think it's the best Hulk Hogan head sculpts that we've ever seen, to be honest. And that's no doubt about the smiley face as well. I think that my nose is a bit weird right here. What's going on with that? It's like a little chip right there on the nose, but not a huge deal. Uh, you guys can see there, yeah, it's a, at least I do have that other Ultimate Edition, but my my uh, smiling head sculpt right here has a chip on the nose, making the nose look a bit deformed or something, but this next head sculpt is actually a new head sculpt, and I am not the biggest fan of this. I think his eyes look a bit wonky, and it's not even the head sculpt that's on the front of the packaging, if you guys noticed. So, his last Ultimate Edition came with this head sculpt, which is what he looks like on the poster, and what he looks like on the front of this packaging, but the figure that it's shown on the front of the packaging doesn't even have this head sculpt, which comes with his last Ultimate Edition. It comes with this one, which is more of like a Disney cartoon confused head sculpt that I don't think quite captures Hulk. He kind of looks like a character from Disney. This one with the wide eyes looks really good. This one, not so much in, in my personal opinion. Now, outside of that, we do have a, your, your, you know, your signature Hulk Hogan shirt that is in the same style. It's got the rips in the back. And speaking of which, you got the rip them. You got the rip them on the front, which is a great graphic. It is Velcroed in the front for the Terry, you know, the tearaway effect, which is really awesome. I love the Carolina blue color. think it looks really nice on the figure and it fits the figure well. So that, that is always nice to see. I'll never complain about cloth goods. Just won't do it, man. And then what would a Hulk Hogan figure be without
without his signature gold necklace looks good here nice gold cross necklace it's got really nice metallic paint on it nice sculpt i like what we got going on here with the necklace and then what would a mattel figure be without its interchangeable hands you get interchangeable fist hands you got to have your mic holding slash weapon holding slash championship holding regular style open hands you have your crowd pump up hand to the ear listening up ricochet Kawhi leonard hands shaking hands on the waist style hands and then we have first time in the line rip them hands which is really cool so that's pretty cool to get the signature rip them hands right there which is a really unique mold so that's pretty cool to include these with the figure i think that's awesome nice attention to detail from mattel and that wraps up all your accessories with your hulk hogan slash rip figure and then for zeus's accessories we get it quite a bit with him as well so again making making and filling out that 70 dollar price point that we're going to get here now let's start off with this entrance gear now you guys know that usually i crap on the rubber accessories man and i, I can't do it here because this wouldn't look right in cloth form i think vests are the only thing that work when you're talking about rubber accessories t-shirts don't work i think trench coats are god awful i think long sleeve shirts are god awful anything outside of a vest like this an entrance vest that's open that you can literally spread open and put on the figure is god awful but this is nice i like the sculpts you got going on some nice you know like metalish looking plates going on all over you got the zipper big open arms right there got the shoulder caps nice chain metal going on right there very good stuff going on here i like the sculpt you guys saw what it looked like on the figure i think it fits it well i, I like it i like it a lot i think it's all great and dandy don't really have any you know problems with that accessory right there next up we do have zeus's belt nice z logo on there nice texturing right here as well now it does clasp around the back right there so you know you can put it on so technically they both come with championship belts or not championship belts but they come with a version of a belt here and i like this I, you know it's just your classic mattel you know you can wrap it around there and clasp it in the back which always makes the world go around i like it you know i, I don't have any issues with this nice detail there from mattel as well now you also have this headband accessory with a little z on it with a nice silver button right there a nice little silver square and you can't put this onto the figure and there he is wearing it very cool i think it fits the figure well that's good stuff right there man really really nice stuff on the headband i think it fits well that's all you can really ask for for your headband accessories you know as long as it fits the figure well it holds that shape that's all good now for zeus's interchangeable head sculpts i think they did a phenomenal job on these i think that tommy lister has a very very unique look to him and i think they captured that perfectly i think this definitely looks just like the actor just like the guy the the pissed off expression the eyes the shape of the head the z hair on the side really really clean head sculpt i love it i i think this is great this is my preferred head sculpt but you also have your screaming expression which i really love now i think i might try to get more of this head sculpt however i can maybe somebody will sell me one or whatever because i gotta make a debo head sculpt or a debo custom figure from the movie friday i think it's just something that i must do using this grimacing grimacing head sculpt i gotta steal people's chains and i gotta make that happen so these head sculpts look fantastic they did a really good job on them man i, I just shout out to the whole mattel team they they're really killing it over there and they knocked these head sculpts out of the park outside of that he comes with interchangeable fists which we've seen a hundred times and he also comes with mic holding hands or weapon holding hands or beating somebody's ass hands holding a weapon so getting into hulk hogan man starting out with a head sculpt we've already covered it you know it's fantastic it's probably the best hulk hogan figurehead i've ever seen you know what i mean it, it gets the job done and that's all you can ask for i like the blonde details i love the mustache and the dry brushing it's damn good i love the skin tone of the figure i think the necklace looks a bit weird how it's trying to levitate away probably because he's not christ centered at all it's just trying to get away from him it's just jokes brad it's just jokes i can push it down you see i can push it right back to his chest and there it goes but here's the torso i like it i like the musculature of it i will say my articulation's a bit loosey-goosey to be honest with you but the pinless joints look really good i love the trunks the trunks look great that light blue that north carolina blue is really popping i'd like to see some more like sculpted detail here on the wrist tape instead of painted on i think that's the next step in these mattel figures you guys can see a little jumbly this there it's not terrible there but he is on ball joints which is actually shocking you wouldn't expect that but nice skin tone going on right there i like the white knee pads it really pops off great kind of a plain jane figure but the boots again look really good with the carolina blue and white i mean the tar heels are going to be happy with this figure you know what i mean i mean the, the tar heels up there in north carolina are going to be pretty happy with this figure because he's matching well but i like this figure a lot again it is a repaint of our last ultimate edition hulk hogan which is right here it's you know you got to get your reuse and all those different things the only thing i'm noticing between these two is just coloration logos and one specific head sculpt now this is something i have to get into because this figure comes with 
this head. And this figure comes with this head. And this expression is the face he's making on the packaging right here. So they use this figure's extra head to put on this figure's packaging because it matches the poster from the original movie. But I guess they decided to throw in a new head sculpt, which I don't like. But you guys get what I'm saying here. You can mix and match your head sculpts here, which is really cool. And if you wanted to, you could pop this off, this on, which is really cool. So now you can get that wide-eyed Hulk Hogan head sculpt and put it onto your San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which is really nice. But this figure's a repaint, man. I mean, it's just a straight repaint. Looking forward to getting multiple copies of this figure for future customs and fix-up of Hogan, but that's pretty cool right there. I'm enjoying the figure a lot. I think the... I Honestly, I like this figure more as far as coloration. I know this is more iconic, but this has its own iconic rights, and you can make plenty of fix-ups and stuff of Hogan here with this figure. I just am a Carolina Blue guy. I think that it's a beautiful color, It's one, and you mix that with white, great contrast, beautiful stuff. Now, getting into our Zeus figure, we already covered the head sculpt. I think it looks great. I think it fits the figure well. I like it. I like the formula. I, I like everything about this figure going down to the torso, man. Do believe it is the Mr. T torso that we saw on the last Ultimate Edition, one of the Mr. T. I like the arms. This is a really cool touch right here for, by Mattel. This gauntlet is actually removable. He has two metal gauntlets right there with a nice sculpt on there. They are removable. You can move these. You can move them around. You can remove them and put them on another superstar, which is really cool, but he does have his pinless joints. The belt looks really good on the figure, and it doesn't hinder any articulation, which is a very nice bonus there. I like the way that the belt fits the figure and everything like that. Him and Hogan have the same exact legs. They have the exact same legs. These are in black, of course, for the black tights. Bit of a plain Jane look, but I think it matches the Zeus figure really well. You know, black and silver, Oakland Raiders looking really good here, but they have the same crotch piece. They have the same legs here going down. He's got those Mr. T style knee pads where he's got the black with the silver circles going on, and he also has the lower legs similar to Mr. T in that he has the Stone Cold Steve Austin style boots and the short black with the black tights. Not a ton of like crazy attires or details going on, but it is a really fun figure, man. I, I just think this is unbelievable having this figure in hand. I think it's a perfect representation of Zeus. I think it's a perfect representation of the actor that it's trying to portray. And I mean, it just overall, it's fantastic. Now, if you guys want to see these two figures up next to each other, just, you know, standing up next to each other for display purposes and stuff like that, they measure up well. They look great together. They both are big, sweaty men, and they can beat the hell out of each other in your displays. But what I also would like to do is line these two up because I'd like to do a San Diego Comic-Con figure comparison between this one and our last few San Diego Comic-Con exclusive figures. So here's our last few San Diego Comic-Con figure exclusives from Mattel. You have the Slim Jim Macho Man, the Mr. T, the Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter, and then you have your Rip and Zeus 2-pack here. Now, I do think that Ultimate Edition 2-packs are going to be a new thing. I'm, I'm calling it now. I hope that I'm correct. I think we're going to see one or two potential future Ultimate Edition 2-packs from Mattel at San Diego Comic-Con. I think they're going to unveil them in the render images. Maybe they'll have some prototypes on display. I think we'll get to see Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy, Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns, Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar coming soon, Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior, and I think we are going to get a couple of two-packs shown off in render form. Maybe a Ray and Eddie two-pack Ultimate Edition, maybe a Shawn Michaels and Brett Ultimate Edition two-pack. One that I'd really like to see is an RVD and John Cena Ultimate Edition two-pack. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Hopefully these things come to fruition, but it is exciting to be a wrestling figure collector. The best time of all time. These figures are insane, and I'm enjoying every moment of it, man, but this two-pack is really outstanding, and I hope this sets the standard for what's to come for Ultimate Edition two-packs, if that's the route they decide to go, but it seems like that's what we've been leaning towards, and it looks like it is going to come to fruition, and hopefully in our SDCC covers next week, which you guys should subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. Hopefully, we will be able to discuss those things. But I think that pretty much wraps up the MDT review of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2022's WWE Ultimate Edition two-pack of Zeus and Rip from No Holds barred, man. Really enjoyed the review. Really enjoy the figures. I think it's really creative. I always appreciate when Mattel goes outside the box. You guys know they love the pop culture crossovers for San Diego Comic Con. We've seen it multiple years in a row now. I think they're going to keep this trend going. I don't see them moving away from this. I don't know where they go next. You know, there's tons of different crossover from different platforms and wrestling and different pop culture references and crossover media of all those different kinds. So, I don't know what the hell's next, you know? 
I do not know what's next, but I do believe that next year I will be at San Diego Comic-Con in person, and I hope to grab, you know, my own thing there or, or be able to interview the guys and the Mattel team and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I love these figures. I love the set. I think it's very creative. If you're an Ultimate Edition completist, well, you guys already know the deal there. I think that it's a great throwback. I don't think it's the figures for everybody. You know, I don't think it's a must-have, but I think if it's a touch of nostalgia, it hits you right in the feels. If you're one for packaging and display options, if you're a huge Hulk Hogan guy, if you enjoyed Zeus, you know, maybe this is the figure set for you. I just think it's really awesome. Now, it is going to retail for 70 bucks, and it is going to be up for order on MattelCreations.com on July 22nd next week, and I'm absolutely going to try my hand at getting another set so that I can keep it mint on card, but you, th I think this is justified with all the great packaging, all the accessories, two Ultimate Edition figures for 70 bucks. You guys got to think that it is an exclusive, which means it is limited. Special Edition packaging, first time in the line Zeus, repaint of a great Hulk Hogan. I think 70 bucks is a fair price for what you're getting here, but it is not the figures for everybody. I completely understand that. If you guys want to pass on these, that's totally up to you. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think, but I enjoy these. My only cons with it is the Hulk Hogan. It's pretty much the exact same, which, you know, that's expected. You know, it's pretty much identical to the last Ultimate Edition, but I do like the repaint. I love the Zeus figure. My articulation is a bit loose on my Hulk Hogan, but at the same time, I'm enjoying what we got here. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this review, man. Had a ton of fun with the figures. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and what you think of the Ultimate Edition 2-pack. So today's shout-out is actually going to go to No, No, and No, who says, don't take this the wrong way, but do you really make money off playing with toys? Like when you met your wife and she asked what your job was, did she laugh at you? So I've been with my wife since I was 13 years old. So she's been around since day one itch, you know what I mean? So she was around when I didn't make anything off the channel. She was around before I even had the idea of the channel. She was around when I was a, a child. So no, she didn't laugh at me. She's a very supportive wife. I love her with everything in me. And if a girl laughs at you for what you make money doing, she ain't the one for you, bro. But a shout out to No, No, and No for that comment. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you're going to grab this set down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed day, and enjoy San Diego Comic-Con. You crossed the line.